Happy Arvo. Hello. Thank you for joining me today. Although I think there's probably not that many of you. I expect this to be my least viewed video ever. Just because there's only a certain subset of people that care about plants. I don't care though. I want to learn about Australian native plants. These are the 13 best according to so 50. Maybe that's 50 so. I can't. Um, yeah, check them out. Link down below. I mean, I'm ready to learn about some unique Australian plants. Sounds cool to me. It just doesn't make for the catchiest title, I don't think. All right, let's watch. When we think of Australia. Hello? Hello? Can barely hear you, dude. We think of kangaroos and koalas. There we go. What most people don't know. He was up in a tree. Is that Australia is home to some of the most exotic plants. What the hell? From flowers dripping with honey to seeds that need fire to propagate. Let's go on a bush walk and I'll show you 13 incredible seeds that need fire to propagate. Okay, so the wildfires do serve a purpose, guys, for this one stupid plant. Incredible Australian plants and flowers. Oh, and remember, each episode is a new experience. To Can I say this tree is beautiful? Keep watching, subscribe. Well, I just did. So I don't care if you let me say it or not. Number 13. If I had to choose the most iconic tree in Australia, it would have to be the eucalyptus or the gum tree as they're known here. They are everywhere. You can just grab a leaf and enjoy the scent. What? Koalas love it so much. They spend- I've never done that with any plant. An entire life on a what is this tree. That's growing on the tree? They come in all colors, shapes, and smells. There are over 800 species wow. all over Australia. That could, that's a eucalyptus. There's the red gum, the blue gum. The... Whoa, dude, these are strange. These look like alien trees. Snow gum. It's just a beautiful tree. A tree I'd expect to find on Mars. Holy shit, it's huge. It's 12, huge. When it comes to flowers, straw flowers or paper flowers, are probably one of my favorites. I mean, I'd say most trees here in America are yay big. Now you do find some, what, like a really old oak tree or something that is large, but damn, that thing was huge. They're what is super this? Bright and last. These look like daisies, kind of. A long time. That's because what looks like a petal is a modified leaf and it's designed to attract pollinators and people like- Petals aren't leaves. I never thought about that, but that's interesting. Okay, got it. Like me. Let's get one wet and I'll show you what happens. Whoa. These flowers are, are smart. You guys got some smart flowers. Damn, how cool is that? Do you guys actually see this when you're outside? Like you're like, oh, the flowers are turning in, you know. It must have rained. The flowers are all, they've all bunched up. They've turned in. It must have been raining Number here. Number is the lemon scented tea tree. And I'm very lucky because this one is in bloom. That does not look like a tree. Oh. Smells so good. I was at a tree, not a bush. It makes a delicious aromatic tea, which helps to refocus the mind and provide clarity. I thought that's what coffee was for. <laughs> Number 10, another favorite Australian tree is the acacia <laughs> or the wattle. Its flowers are awful it's like cotton. allergies, but the smell is- mm. I never thought about my aller- I have really bad allergies over here in the Midwest of America. <laughs> is just irresistible. I'd be pretty disappointed if I went to a Australia, all the way to Australia, and they were worse. I don't think they would be, though. I don't know why. Number nine I don't think is so. the wild lily. This little plant is part of the diet of Aboriginal people who enjoy eating its roots roasted. They're supposed to be sweet and delicious. Another you guys ever have a wild lily root? Full plant you can eat the roots is number eight kangaroo ball kangaroo wow the name comes from the furry flower which is shaped like a kangaroo paw 
See it? It's such a beautiful <laughs> plant and it comes in many colors. It can be found everywhere in Australia. Oh my god. If you're still hungry, you can also eat number seven, pig face. I'm a huge fan of succulents, so I have this one in my garden. It's actually one of the few truly Australian succulents. Can I just say, you know a guy is like a good guy if he's into flowers. You know what I mean? That's how you know you found a good guy, ladies. The flower is not only beautiful. I don't know a lot of like flower enthusiasts that are mean and abusive. Also edible. Personally. I know because I tasted it. What? Number six, clustered everlasting, which is sort of a straw flower, but smaller. And as the name says, clustered. This one is bright yellow. I've never seen anything like that. As bright as it gets. And you know who else loves it? Butterflies. Hmm. Number five, the silvery plant earned the name emu bush because emus like to eat its fruit. Emus? I thought, I thought it was emus. Is not what you guys, you guys always say I say it wrong because I call it an emu. You guys say it's emu. This guy's saying emu. Emu bush almost went extinct in the 80s and it's rare to find it in the wild. But fortunately, it's very popular in Australian gardens. That's insane. It looks like the photo's black and white. You know how those like, Artsy people take the black and white photo or take a color photo, make everything black and white, but the petals. I could have sworn that's what this was, Very but popular in Australia. that's just the way the bush in is. Gardens. Number four that's so cool. Is one of Australia's most exotic flowers, the Bunxia. One of the most beautiful Australian flowers is the Bunxia. And this is the pod. I'm going to show you what happens. Looks like a pine cone. When the Australian bushes catch fire. What? I'm going to mimic a bush fire and see what happens. See how the pods open up? Seeds are hidden in these smaller pods. Now give it a whack and here are the seeds. That is fascinating. Nature's so freaking weird. So these plants actually do need bush fires. Number three, Grevillea, some species produce this sweet nectar which i tried directly from the flower and of course she did incredible <laughs> aboriginal people i love this guy will use it to sweeten <laughs> i've hmm. never seen anything like that number two bottle brush i also heard it produced a sweet nectar so curious as i am i went on <laughs> to try it with no success these plants are insane looking yes it tasted like looks like a hairbrush like nothing but it's still a beautiful flower and it's synonymous to Australia. Tasted like nothing. Number one, tea tree or melaleuca. It's one of Australia's most famous trees and it produces one of my favorite scents in nature. You're probably familiar with its delicious smell as these days there are hundreds of products containing tea tree from toothpaste oh, okay. to shampoo. When you crush its leaves mm, they release that beautiful typical smell the leaves and bark are interesting antiseptic. really soft and the bark is so soft you can use it as bandage what is that what like aboriginals did i hope you enjoyed our walk and the beautiful native australian trees and hopefully you get to see them in person i'll see you next time i would time. love that Oh my god, that was that was very relaxing. I really enjoyed that. I mean, I was about to watch a video about Australian border security, as you can see up here. But I couldn't find one that was suitable. This was much more relaxing. <laughs> you guys have some wild alien looking Mars, Martian looking plants. I hope one day I get to go eat them. Go suck on the uh, on the petals like this guy did. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing how few people watch this video. Go check out So Fifty. Oh, he's only got two hundred sixty-eight subscribers. What the heck? That video was way too good for two sixty-eight subscribers.
definitely go subscribe or something if you like plants. I'll see you guys tomorrow.